to show you firstly how to create a segment in Clavio and also how you can utilize their sunset engagement flow to automate your suppression of unengaged subscribers. So first of all, the easiest thing for you to do is to go into flows and have a look at this sunset engage flows it because it tells you how to create this segment, which is great. And what this flow does is it effectively takes them through almost like a customer win back kind of situation. But then right at the end, it will add a tag to the customer, letting you know that they are no longer engaged with you. And what you can do at that point is you can create a segment of those people who are tagged with that the tag that you create and then you can uh, use that segment to then suppress them so what we would do is we just type in sunset here and obviously you can see that we have two at the moment we've got a standard one and we've got a customer versus no customer one obviously it's up to you which one you choose we personally always go for the one that's slightly more advanced because we like to make the most of the flows that we use um, and as you can see immediately, it goes obviously if they have placed an order or haven't, it then says kind of the work custom win back bit, but it's this bit right at the end where it says it creates the property unengaged as true that's really important. And what you need to do here is before you can do this, you need to uh, create a segment so that when somebody joins that segment, it triggers this flow. Um, and if we click on here, it tells us exactly how we can create this segment. So what Clavio typically recommends is that you create a segment of anyone who has received an email at least 10 times overall time, anyone who has opened an email zero times in 365 days, anyone who has clicked an email zero times in 365 days and is not suppressed. Um, let's see if there's any more additional ones down the page as well, just to see if there's something else that we could use. But no, I think that one's going to be the best one for us. So I'm going to show you how to set this up today. Um, so going back into here, what I would do is I will now create this uh, segment. Um, and to make things kind of more simple for myself, I will name the segment after the flow. So this is going to be the sunset and engaged subscriber. So this is simply how you name it. And then you just need to define the properties of it. So if you're ever looking for someone if they clicked or opened something, it's always when someone has done something. So we want to receive an email right here. We want it to be uh, is at least 10 over all time. And then you have and or or. So all means it can be this or that, whereas and is they also need to meet the next criteria. So for this one, we then choose when someone has opened email and for this one we want to say zero times and in the last 365 days so in the last year if they haven't opened any of those emails then they'll come into here Flavio also recommends going for clicked so you would click clicked in here again we'd go zero times in the last 365 days and then finally the last one we'll do is if the person is or is not suppressed. So suppressions happen, they can happen automatically. So if an email bounces or it goes into a spam folder, for example, it will automatically become suppressed in the accounts so that person's email will be suppressed. And it means that you can no longer send them an email if they are suppressed. And you can also manually suppress people. So what you would do with this segment, for example, is if you identify these people as your own engaged, you could actually export your segment and suppress them straight off the back of this. But what we're trying to do right now is we want to put them through a flow first to see if we can get them to engage back. Um, and there's also a number of other things you can do in flows, um, in segments even. So you can create uh, filters based on if they've had like a certain message sent to them, or if you want to categorize them based on a flow or a campaign they've been. Um, you obviously have lots of different properties here. So you can say whether they're in a list or not. You can say whether someone has a tag or where their consent form IDs come from. Um, you can say whether they're in a certain location and things like that. Um, you also have like a number of kind of categories here of like you can obviously say zero times you can make sure that they have to have received 10 so at that point you would put equals to um or 
we would do it obviously is at least 10 that means it could be 10 or more um and then you have obviously your time bracket here which you can set certain dates for it you can say it needs to be before this date or after this date or you can put it for a certain amount of days and obviously you can see here that's what we've got here and at that point when you put in the last blank you can then change it to hours days and weeks so once i'm happy with that i will create my segment and what you'll see is Clavio will take a little bit of time to populate this, but you can see that we've already got a few people in this segment. So instead of just going straight into suppressing these, we now want to use them as part of that flow to see if we can get them back. So again, what we do is you just go back into browse, uh, go into sunset, click on this one, and then we would set our trigger to the segment you've just made. And this is why I've called it Sunset Unengaged Subscribers because I know that these two exactly match up. Um, at this point, I will just create the flow. Uh, so. And then this is when you can start personalizing all your emails. So I will just put these all into draft right now. Um, like so because I don't want anybody to manually queue up for these and obviously remember that you should um, customize these based on the branding make sure you get the right messages you want in there and everything like that and at this point they will go through the flow so the first email they've got obviously Taylor recommends you say you know we want you back type thing um, they wait another three days at that point and if they still haven't replied then maybe offer them some sort of incentive again after four days make it sound quite sad that you're you know you're looking to miss out on seeing them at this point if they still don't respond if they still don't purchase then that is when they would end up with this tag and you can change this to whatever you want it to be but save it automatically remains you create a new property on each person set them to engaged and make this true so once this is set up and it's live you then need to create a segment based on this updated profile property so if we go into save and exit now and then go back into segments we would then create a new segment again um, and then again i've just called this something very very similar just so you know i'm in gauge true and when you create this segment you are then looking for a new property about that person so at the moment because this hasn't been live I don't have this property in here but what you would see is it would come up here and you would see that it would say unengaged it would come up here and you'd click on that um, you would then put it to equal and then you would change this to uh, what it said before which was this one and is true but this would say unengaged and at this point what this would do is it would then create the segment for you with all the people who are still unengaged but you have to have the flow live and you have to have that tag working before you can create that segment. So at this point, once you've done all of that, what you would do is you would then export your segment. So for example, I'm just gonna do it on this one. You just hit export here. And what it does is it selects a few things, but you really only need to do the email for this. Um, and you wait a few seconds for it to export your segment. But this is gonna take a while. So for this example, I'm not gonna do it. Um, and then you'd go into profiles and what you'll have is a CSV download in your folder. At this point, you go into profiles and you can see who's active on your account and who's suppressed. What you then do is go into suppressed here, which has a little link, and you would then upload a file. You would choose your file and you would upload that CSV that you just took of your segment. And once you've uploaded that, it automatically suppresses anybody that's in that CSV. And what you then do with the original segment is you could actually also add in another uh, part of it where so obviously we have the unengaged equals true you could then put and is not suppressed and then that will what that will do is whenever you suppress a certain group of people they will then be removed from the segment and only the people that you haven't suppressed will then stay um, so that's how you can automate suppressions in your account with using segments as well as using flows. If you have any questions, then please let the Blend team know and thank you for watching.